All right, Atlanta United Fan TV. Guys, you know, it's unleashed in here. <laughs> Fuck you, mean. Fuck you, mean. But, uh, <laughs> yep, yep. But, uh, guys, you know, we, uh, we put them to the sword. Guys, we absolutely crushed them when they needed to be crushed. What did you guys think of the game? I mean, the good team won. Like, they at no point looked that they were going to disturb us at all. And I think once the second goal went in, it was just a matter of time us scoring 3-4. Could have been a lot worse, I think. They saved their asses a couple of times at the very end. So, you know, like, it's funny because this was a commanding performance after a long, long time. So I don't know if it was because they were that terrible, we were that good, or a mixture of both probably. So, you know, I think overall can't complain about the performance. Big time result, um, sporting KC loss. So, you know, extend that lead on top. I mean, well, they're a coachless team right now, essentially. I mean, they they have a caretaker coach. It's uh, they have a new coach coming in who was their first choice. Uh, that's the big thing about this game for me is uh, I love watching a coachless interim coach team because they come out and some teams just hey, we're gonna do it just for the team. You could tell Orlando City came in being like, eh, we might try a little bit, like whatever. They showed up like a B side, and Atlanta United capitalized on that knew they could capitalize on that, and this is the type of win that we need going forward. There's nothing better than exciting the fans against your rival that most everyone knows now is your rival with a win like that. And knowing that they're a coachless team, Tata was like, all right, go out and score some goals. You'll be fine. Well, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's that type of uh, performance in the second half, at least. The first half. Ah, <laughs> but definitely, yeah, we, we needed that type of second half. Of course, I mean... Uh, I think the halftime team talk probably was keep the ball and uh, utilize it a little bit better because second half we looked a lot more clinical. Martinez and Omeron looked on the same page. So, like, we looked devastating going forward. So, you know, I think uh, overall it's a great result. And I think this is the first time we've been in Orlando at home. So, like, that was special. So, you know, I overall, uh, as he said, interim manager, sometimes they come in. You don't know what you're going to get, so you kind of get blindsided. But Atlanta United are fully professional and, you know, 70,000 people behind them. So, of course, it's been a mint performance and hopefully we carry this on now. Let's talk about the goals. Uh, I mean, you know, a couple of them were very, very well taken. Um, definitely the Almiron nutmeg yeah. with yeah. Uh, Bindic. Yeah. Hey, so there's a certain level of quality you want to see when any – Anyone from any team you like is playing. When you nutmeg somebody on the way to goal, that's just a whole different. Sure, sure. Just be there's, real. there's been a lot of great goals scored, but that might be one of the better ones we've scored as a team. That's right. It's like maybe three, obviously, Tito last year what against do you Orlando. Have to say yeah. About the World Cup. Uh, What's your opinion on it? Uh, France gonna win it, mate. France gonna win it. France is gonna win it. France gonna. Uh, Mexican, I like Mexico, but Croatia is looking strong. Oh, Croatia does look strong. So Croatia looks great. Uh, if we're gonna t if we're talking about uh, the World Cup, let me just go ahead and say this: Lingard's due for one. Lingard's due for another one. That's right. I said it. <laughs> Maybe, but all right. World Cup aside. Coming back. To yeah, go, coming back to the coming back to the game. Uh, let's shit let's shit on Orlando a little bit because they deserve it. I mean, I, I think they looked absolutely clueless second half defending. And you saw the frustration when he pulled down Barco. Like, it was just all getting, I think, to their heads about how, like, you know, it's a seven-game, eight-game losing streak so far. So, like, it got to them and, like, we were all guns blazing because, like, no mercy for the rivals. So, you know, it's overall, a, I think, a statement kind of a result for Atlanta. And I hope, like, we get the grind-out results after this. Because overall, I think with Barco, I, I personally think was the best player uh, off the ball today. His runs were brilliant. What, one of the big things I hope uh, players do, keep making their runs. Normally we always stop, right, like when we give the pass away, like we don't move forward for the final ball. And that's why Barco got the goal. He moved out there and got the goal. So I think that was a very positive sign I haven't seen in the team for a long time. So, you know. Hopefully we keep going on and bring the support shield home at least. Uh, if you want me to talk some, some mess about Orlando, uh, I read an article talking to one of the players, talking about how they felt like they could be more free now that they don't have this manager who's kind of lording over them. 
Yeah, they looked really free when we scored four against them. So, uh, uh, honestly, purple only works for Prince. So, I mean, let's be honest. We're not gonna face them in the playoffs. Oh, no. So, like, we need to move on to bigger praise. Like, let's there's go. a good, there's a great feel good result, but we need to do let's better because yeah. let's see how we play against Seattle. That's the that's the big one. Uh, I want to see how we play against Seattle. Yeah. yeah.